First step in installing the Zen steer tube insert is to rough up the inside of the steering tube and then remove any dust. Then you're going to mix the epoxy. Coat the lower part of the steering tube complete or the steering tube insert completely with the epoxy. Then you're going to coat the inside of the steering tube, the first inch or two of the steering tube. Coat the inside. Clean off the excess. Then as you insert, you're going to twist, push down, and then pull up a little bit and twist and push down and you keep going back and forth up and down and then continue to spread the epoxy up the insert as it starts to push outside and just keep recoating it as you as you get the steering tube in there so that it's got a really good coat of epoxy all around the inside Notice that Jason is wearing nitrile gloves. You definitely don't want Okay, once it's in, clean up the excess and you can use some alcohol. Alright, now the insert is in. It needs to sit overnight to set in a warm, warmer room. You can't, it doesn't set very well if it's really cold. Make sure you read the directions on the epoxy. And that's it for gluing the insert in. The next step will be installing the top cap. Okay, once the epoxy is set overnight, it's time to put the top cap on. You're only going to tighten this to the minimal amount of torque that is required to remove play from the headset. This is simply a light preload tension. We check for play. Once there's no play, then you can tighten the pinch bolts on the stem. And then the pinch bolts on the stem, you'll tighten to the stem manufacturer's torque, usually between five and seven Newton meters. And that's done.